people have been asking me what do I think about Boris Johnson resigning I feel very similar to Boris resigning that I do did when Theresa May resigned was pushed out whatever however you want to put it so in a nutshell the way I see it is this over the past 10 plus years, turn me a, turn my volume down, over the past 10 plus years, certain people have come in with their own agenda, things that they want to push through and push forward, many of which have been to the detriment of people like myself, for example. So they come in, change policies, change legislation, um, wreak havoc a lot of the time, and then there is a vote of no confidence and they either get voted out or they resign. OK, fine. That gives you room to bring someone new in to allegedly sort out the mess that's been made. But one of the things I've noticed, I am still waiting for Theresa May to be held accountable for what she did with the Windrush generation and to the Windrush generation. What happened? They resign in exclamation marks, quotation marks, and then off they go. They'll go and get directorships. They will sit on boards. They will most likely charge a pretty penny for being associated with things, being, you know, an, a brand ambassador, being paid to speak at lovely, fantastic, wonderful events. I enjoy speaking at those types of events as well. However, there's absolutely no accountability for what for what's happened. Um, somebody says the entire lot of them are dreadful and they take all the tax and embezzle it to their mates. Um, absolutely. So that's the thing. When I when I kind of observed the what was going on with Theresa May and where that all started at a time in the Home Office, when she came into power, I was like, oh dear, this is going to be very interesting. For I already know about what's happening behind the scenes. I'm imagining this is how it's going to play out. That's exactly what happened. Come in, start executing on those agendas that they have, and then resign and skip off into the sunset. No accountability, no follow through, no having to sort out or undo or put right the mess that you've made. You're off. So that's it. So that's why I'm not necessarily jumping up and go, oh, my God, yeah, 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 Boris is gone. Don't get me wrong. Um, it might be improved with someone else at the helm, but <sighs> someone else, is it a different suit, different day, same kind of ethos thinking and agenda? That remains to be seen, but that in a nutshell is basically why I haven't been um, jumping up and down and cheering, etc. Uh, yep, absolutely. So if you're looking at the comments, what Fiona is sharing here, it's it's been pretty horrendous with many of the things that have happened. And having watched the trajectory of Theresa May, and then how that happened, and you just sort of slink off and go on to your next thing. I have no idea what she's doing now, but probably not sitting living hand to mouth having lost everything because of a crafty little change in legislation and the way you treat a certain group of people, they just basically slip off into the sunset. So that, my friends, is why I'm not jumping up and down, particularly with um, today's news. Let's just, okay, let's just see how it plays out. Let's see what happens next. Let's see where we go from here, but I'm still waiting for our previous, one of our previous prime ministers to be held accountable for the dastardly things that were done. What can I say? I'll leave it there. Marilyn Devonish, over and out. I will catch you later. So um, yeah. what can I say? What can I say? There's not much to be said. I'll catch you later. And thank you, Fiona, for your comments.